Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at how you can replace the uh, selection visuals that are part of Apex Path with your own. As you probably noticed, if you have added a selectable unit to your scene, um, you have seen these two different selection visuals. The first is uh, the selection rectangle that I use, that is used or shown when you select, drag, and select units. And the second one is the actual selection marker that will be shown around selected units. Now let's start with the latter. So um, we have our unit here and by default it has a selection visual attached to it down here, uh, which is basically a quad with a um, texture on it. And this is then assigned to the selectable unit components selection visual. So to create your own and replace uh, the default, um, I mean you can either create your comp your own uh, selection visual um, from scratch or you can um, use um, the default prefab and simply change the texture of it. It's up to you. Um, it doesn't have to be a quad, it can be a sphere, it can be whatever you want. Um, in this case we're just gonna go with uh, using the prefab and changing a little bit on that. So to do that what you want to do is um, find uh, the prefab in uh, the Apex Resources Prefabs folder and make a copy of it. It is called Unit Selected. Now I'm going to copy that and I'm going to call it Unit Selected Custom. Now this is what you need to call it. It has to have that specific name and it also needs to reside in a Prefabs folder. Now obviously this is not part of uh, the Apex uh, package so um, in order to make this uh, more friendly to updates, I'm going to move this custom into my own prefabs folder. So I've created a resources prefabs folder down here and I'm simply going to move it in there if Unity will let me. There we go. So now I have my custom uh, prefab down here. Obviously right now it's completely the same as uh, it was so I'm just going to change it so I am going to use my own texture and there we go. Now I have an orange selection marker. Um, obviously if you was to create your own you would uh, instead of copying um, the prefab you would simply uh, s create whatever uh, selection visual you want and then make a prefab of that and call it the exact same thing and put it in the prefabs folder. So this is just the requirement it needs to be in the prefabs folder and it needs to be called unit selected custom and then it can be whatever visual you want it to be. Alright, so back to um, the second um, visual. We have this selection rectangle and you can do the exact same thing here um, which would be the recommended way of doing it. It will be a little more uh, difficult to replace the entire thing here so it is recommended that you simply use the prefab. Again, I'll copy the prefab and again I will post fix it with custom and I will move it to my own prefabs folder, folder down here and then I will actually replace the actual selection visual instead of this blue I'm going to use a another material um, this orange that's it now I've replaced them uh, and in order to show that I'm just going to remove these default ones and add them again using the quick start here. So I'm just going to do it like this and you can see it will now replace them and use them, use the custom ones instead. So starting our scene we will now have a orange selection visual and orange selection marker. That's it. That's how you replay your replace your selection visuals.